Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I have a real treat for you guys today. Uh, we are looking at a set of rules called the Rules with No Name. And these rules are by Brian Anso. It says trigonometry, bloodshed, and mayhem in the Old West. Now, I have been aware of these rules probably, Lord, for a very long time. Uh, I remember when these rules were actually kind of a free online type of thing in the early days of the internet. And uh, I think it was like maybe one or two sheets of pages. It certainly was not this big old book. Uh, eventually, they did get published, and this is this is what you uh, what what was the result of it being published. Now, I have never seen these rules on a shelf, not in the U.S. Now, I'm I'm assuming they got a lot of uh, they got a lot of uh, use in uh, England or the U.K., but in the U.S., I've never actually seen these rules on a shelf. But I was always aware of them. And at one time, I actually had a download of them. But through the years, it was lost. But uh, after uh, Legends of the Old West came out by Warhammer, and then uh, other rules like uh, Dead Man's Hand, Tombstone, and so forth came out, I kind of remembered the rules with no name. Right, and I had kind of been trying to find them with very, very little luck. Like I don't, I don't know if Foundry still sells these or not. Uh, maybe I don't know, uh, but I couldn't find them like anywhere here in the U.S. But uh, recently, I did a search on eBay, and sure enough, a copy turned up, and I paid. Uh, I paid, a, uh, I think, a fair price to get these. I think there was a couple of people bidding against me, but I wanted them more than they did. Now, these rules, I would say, are more of a Hollywood Western ruse, but uh, they're very unique, and I, I've kind of browsed through them, uh, and they are very comprehensive. Uh, I used to have a set of rules called Gut Shot, and I would say these rules are a comparison to Gutshot, except for Gutshot was a role-playing game that you pretty much played with miniatures and westerns. But the problem I had with Gutshot with trying to play it on my own or even just trying to use it was you almost had to have character sheets for every figure. So every figure was a character. You counted their bullets, their, their wounds, where they were hit at, and it just got a bit cumbersome. So I think I wound up selling or, or giving away my, 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 my rules for gut shot. But now that I have the rules with no name, this to me is hopefully will become my main Western set of rules. I still want to pick up Legends of the Old West, although I'm not enamored with the rules. I know they're based on the whole Lord of the Rings model and, you know, I, I like Lord of the Rings for the game it is. But uh, I'm not sure how it works with a predominantly shooting game. And I've seen some games of Legend of the Old West on like Guerrilla Miniatures. Yeah, and they're all right. I mean, they're not, I, don't, I would not say they're as thematic. But I think the main reason I still would like to get a copies of Legends of the Old West is I do like the, uh, the factions that they have in the game. Although this game has factions as well, which is kind of one of my criteria if you're going to put a game together like this. So we have gunfighters, Indian war bands, soldiers, and it says horses, a vast array of optional rules covering weapons such as shotguns, blunderbusses, muzzle loaders, hatred and fear, buildings, combat in the great outdoors, skills and attributes, drunks, women, bystanders, and much, much more. Painting and modeling guide, cards and counters. And fortunately for me, the guy who sold it to me actually had done up his decks of cards and counters. And so he was able to give those to me as well. So in this card, each of these cards would represent a, a character in the game. So as you see here, he had a character named Jesse James. His left arm, right arm, belly. His rifle loads, his chambers, is late. I, I just love the way the cards are designed. 
uh, because it's right there and very easy. And you can actually make up cards for your own miniatures. So that's another good thing. So let's see if we can take a look and just give you guys a flip through. Normally when I show you rules, I like to do a, a sample play or game. But I'm probably not going to be able to do that tonight. I mean, I, I've been working 10 hours today. i got to work 10 more hours tomorrow. But I did want to get this out and show this to you guys. Uh, and just kind of introduce you to the rules with no name. Okay, so the first thing we're going to notice is this is a very beautifully laid out and illustrated book. I mean, this book is just, it's, it's a very lovely book uh, as we flip through it. So we have a scene here of some kind of bank heist occurring. And, you know, this is another image of it. This thing looks like some kind of poster, the whole credit pages. We can then see a nice layout of what you get with the rules, your basic rules, action, shooting, optional rules, hand-to-hand -hand fighting, nerve, fear, your next gunfight, soldiers, Indians, the game master, and so forth. So there is a forward. Uh, there's uh, some of the forward by, uh, is this by, no, Keith Penfold. He's talking about. Brian uh's original introduction it says they are intended primarily as a straightforward simple set of western gunfight rules suitable for a quick cheerful game possibly involving a large number of participants however we wanted to include a degree of tactical skill involvement with the rule system and an element of tension and surprise we have tried not to introduce a lot of fussy rules to cover every eventuality so if you are playing with large groups of strangers, you might like to use a game master. However, however, for those of you who prefer a more sophisticated game, especially if you intend to run a campaign with the extra level of detail and involvement that familiarity permits, there is a selection of optional rules for you to mix and match according to your taste. And so that is actually kind of the meat of this is the optional rules if you want to use them. So we get into our basic rules. You have your character. Uh, that I think mostly all of your fighters are going to be based on what type of characters they are. You have your fate deck, which is basically the cards I showed you. Your characters consist of citizens, gunmen, shooters, and legends. You have your beginning play. So if your character's card is drawn an action card is drawn so basically this is a card draw system where cards are going to be drawn which is going to either allow you to act or there's going to be certain fake cards which certain players will be able to use so some cards can only be used for example by legends or shooters or whatever your actions can be a reposition a move a move and fire a fire an aim a reload a recover or a get up there's a challenge or fast draw, so that's what I like. Uh, if you guys saw the review I did on the other set of rules, uh, what was it, a good day to die or something like that? So I did like the fast draw in there. I have not played this one out yet, so this talks about shooting. It talks about fire. Now there is a chart, and basically you will throw your dice depending on the hit location on what you get on that chart or whatever so and it's kind of tied to the weapon you're using as well so it is a little bit of sophistication from what i saw it wasn't too complicated your injuries will either be a graze wounded knocked down knocked out flesh wound or serious wound there's rules on cover effects of cover so you have rules talking about duck backs and this is just a gallery. I think all of these miniatures are from Foundry's Western Range. So these are some wonderful miniatures. I have not seen these miniatures in years. And the paint job is superb. So we have some more miniatures here. A lot of different scenarios and shootouts. And this is just their gallery. I mean, this is just a book. Look at the gallery in here, man. And I mean, this book was done probably, what was this? I want to say maybe 20 years ago now. 
And I mean, this is this is this is better than a lot of what they're making now. This was 2008, first published in Great Britain in 2008. So this is 2021. So that's 13 years ago. And I mean, look at the production quality. So then you get into the optional rules, uh, hand to hand fighting. So this is kind of a more advanced chart for your weapons. Uh, with regards to your hand-to-hand -hand fighting weapons and throwing for effect. So that's kind of cool. They don't just recycle the same chart. They kind of mix it up. Get the effects of fighting, your nerve, hatred, and fear. Group movement. So that's cool. You can move out as a group. So they like the Erps or the Clantons. Your buildings. Kind of effects of being in buildings. Back shooting. <laughs> Challenges, duels, and fast draw. So if you're a citizen, you get three dice. A gunman, four dice. A shoot is five. And a legend gets six dice. Imagine a regular citizen taking on a legend. And I think there's even a way where you can... One guy can like have a shootout with multiple characters. Uh, so that's also pretty cool. Stray shots. Close and point blank range. Shotguns, so there's a chart on how shotguns, blunderbusses, and things like that, muskets, and other muzzle-loading weapons, dynamite, <laughs> experience points and skills, so that's cool if you want to give your character a skill. I mean, we're only 47 pages into this book, which is true. I think the book is like 200 pages. Uh, well, let me see, 125 so you have skills and attributes, lightning fast, lucky, marksman, using the rules for experience and skills, horses, so horses have an effect in the game. Now this is kind of kind of real into the weeds where they're talking about collisions on your horses. That's that's getting into the weeds a bit. But at a convention game with a lot of players, I could see that coming in, burning down the house. So if you're trying to set places on fire, which a lot of times like your Native Americans might be doing that or vice versa. The Calvary may be doing that to a Native American camp. Combat in the great outdoors. Uh, painting and modeling. So it even has a painting and modeling section. And see, I think Brian Ansel used to work with GW. Matter of fact, I think he might have been one of the early founders of GW. And you can kind of see the whole GW, uh, the whole GW uh, method in here, which I, obviously he would have pioneered if he was part of that initial GW team. So you can see it how you have a book, you have optional rules, and then you have your painting and your modeling stuff. So, a lot of this stuff is very basic. You know, a lot of the painting and things in here, you know, they just, they're just basically helping you get these on the table. But, I mean, it's, if for a lot of people, this would be very nice, you know. They, they, could, they could use this kind of help. Uh, Geronimo. This is the foundry paint system, which I think they still sell that. A fistful of balsa. Now, this is something about making your own buildings. So this was well before Sarissa Precision and a lot of them came out. If you are into making your own buildings, they even have some uh, diagrams. You could photocopy these. And I mean, a Western town is perfect to be made in balsa wood or other, other techniques like that. Here's some more. Oh, wow. They even give you the signs. Look at this. Wanted posters and everything. So you could literally... You know, photocopy these for your rewards and stuff. Soldiers. So this is cool. This is talking about using cavalry guys or soldiers in your game. Classes of soldiers. Greenhorn, trooper, infantryman, old sweat, army legend. Officers. Special rules for soldiers. Promotions and career path. Back shooting challenges, replacing losses of your soldiers, Indians, 
American Indians, Indian characters, young bloods, warriors and mighty warriors. Wow. Indian skills and attributes. Charmed, cursed, lucky, dream quest, medicine man, mighty vision, experience. And then talks about using a game master. Drunk as a skunk, overindulgence, drinks too much fire water, crazy as a loon. And so these are all the things that they, you could put into gameplays and scenarios. Old timers, that's cool. Ladies, bystanders, and then alternative rules. So they even give you alternative rules for shooting, for fighting. And then they give you cards that you can photocopy at the end. So if you want to photocopy your action cards and your deck cards and then sleeve these, these are all your cards. And it shows you the characters. Emmett Gates, part of the posse. He's a gunman, the shooters. These are where you would put your own pictures or your own cards with their skills and attributes. Skills and attributes. Fate deck. And what is this? Shooting chits. Oh, this is an alternative if you want to draw chits instead of uh, using the chart. Index and reference. And so that is actually a quick look at the rules with no name. So the next time I take a look at these, we are going to be looking at uh, how you would play a turn. We're going to go through, uh, you know, maybe some different uh, characters you could play, how the cards work, and so forth. But... In this video, I just wanted to introduce this set of rules to you. Let me know if you are familiar with this. Heck, let me know if you have a copy of it. Uh, take care. And God bless. Mm -hmm.